Gen 5 going to be short. I would say it's going to be less than four minutes because I'm planning to make it short. It's going to be an, an introduction for CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy. I know you know about this and I know you are just so excited to know more about CBT, but this part going to be an introduction for that one. First of all, we're going to talk about self-determination theory, which is going to be SDT. It is basically talking about your own motivation to pursue a specific goal. It does have two components. Number one, we're going to talk about autonomy. It is talking about your own willing to just pursue a specific goal. Second of all, it's going to be about perceived competency. If you feel like a specific behavior is going to make a positive change for you, you're going to pursue that, right? It's not about your doctor. It is not about your parents, your partner. It's just all about you. It's just self-determination, right? What else? Implementation intentions is just very important too because it's just saying that if you would just um, have a, a coherent plan, for example, if you would just have two good habits together, they're, they're going to be automatic. You're going to do them, both of them all the time. Okay, let's say you always just skipping breakfast and you want to just have breakfast all the time, okay, because, because it's a good habit, right? Imagine if you would decide to just take your dog out after having breakfast okay so you're gonna finish your breakfast then you're gonna take the dog out after a minute that sort of behavior is gonna be automatic so you always um having your food first then you're gonna take your dog out um so that's kind of good behaviors or conditional behavior at some point uh they can be actually impacting your brain like make changes in your brain as well i know it sounds a bit crazy but it seems like even a small changes in our behavior can just go a long way when it comes to our brain or when it comes to our habits so even though some behaviors they are just unconscious they can just impact uh your brain development as well even though you are adult even you are just older than um like a child because children their brain it just um, has like more plasticity so we are saying that they're gonna learn faster but even though you are not a child, you can just pick up good habits in a good way. And that pattern of good habit can impact your brain as well.